some acid and base is added to water, the pH of water will increase drastically from 7 to 4 or 10.5. But when a buffer solution is added with acid or base, the pH does not change drastically. Why? Welcome back to Siri Penshara Kimia Awa. In this video, we are going to learn what is a buffer solution, types of buffer we have, and how to use an equation to calculate the pH of a buffer, and how does a buffer work. Buffer solution is a solution with weak acid and base that can resist pH change when we add a little bit amount of acid or base into it. There are two types of buffer. We have acidic or basic buffer. How do we prepare an acidic buffer solution? So easy, we add some weak acid and one of its salt. For example, we have the ethanoic acid and sodium ethanoic. So sodium ethanoic will dissociate to produce the ethanoic ion, which is the conjugate base. So remember, Every buffer must have two species, which is one acidic species, which is coming from the weak acid, and another basic species that is coming from the salt. we can use to calculate the pH of a buffer. So we will use the anderson hasselbalch equation. So the equation is pH equal to pKa plus log concentration of salt divided by the concentration of weak acid or pH equal to pKa plus log concentration of conjugate base divided by concentration of Weak acid. has an initial pH of 7 is added with some acid and base, we would see that the pH of water would change drastically from 7 to 4.0 or 7 to 10.5. Whereas when a buffer solution which has an initial pH of 3.2, we would see that when a small amount of acid is added, the pH of the buffer only change slightly to 3.1 or when a little bit of base is added, the pH of buffer will increase slightly to 3.3. Now how does this happen? How does an acidic buffer works to resist pH changes? So first we need to know what is the definition of an acidic buffer solution. Acidic buffer solution is a solution with pH lower than 7 because it contains a weak acid and its conjugate base. Now what is a weak acid? Weak acid is an acid that would dissociate partially to produce very small or a very small amount of hydrogen ion, for example, our ethanoic acid. And by adding its salt, which is sodium ethanoate, the sodium ethanoate will dissolve completely in water to produce two species and one of these species is what we want which is known as the conjugate base of our weak acid. So an acidic buffer solution must contain the two species which is weak acid and also a conjugate base. An equilibrium would form between the weak acid 
and its conjugate base in the buffer solution as shown in the equation. So this means that there are a lot of weak acid and a lot of conjugate base in the solution which will behave as an acid and a base to resist pH change in the buffer solution. When some strong acid is added to a buffer solution, remember, a strong acid is a species that dissociates 100% to produce hydrogen ions. This means the amount of hydrogen ions will increase in the buffer solution. If nothing is done to remove the hydrogen ions, it would change the pH of buffer solution drastically. But because we have species of conjugate base in the solution of buffer, the conjugate base would actually react with all the H plus ion, the hydrogen ions, and by doing this, we will remove the hydrogen ions from the solution. And the equilibrium actually shifted to the right to increase a little bit amount of the ethanol acid and reduces the amount of ethanol ion. Since all the added acid has been neutralized or removed by the conjugate base in the buffer, the pH of a buffer solution would not change drastically. Now when a strong base is added, remember a strong base is a species that would dissociate 100% to produce high amount of hydroxide ions. When the added hydroxide ion is not treated, they will increase the pH of any solution. But because an acidic buffer contains weak acid and also the conjugate base, the weak acid, which we have as an acid, would react with all the hydroxide ions. By doing this, they will remove the species of hydroxide ion from the solution and the pH of buffer solution would not increase drastically. As a summary, acidic buffer is a solution that receives pH changes when a small amount of acid or base is added. This is because they have two components, one acidic, another basic component, which would react with all the new, uh, hydroxide ions and the hydrogen ions added to the solution. So as a conclusion, we have learned what is a buffer solution how many types of buffer solution we have and how to use the henderson hasselbach equation to calculate the pH of a buffer solution and how a buffer works when acid and base is added to buffer I hope you like this video if you like this video please like, share and subscribe if you want to know more about basic buffer you can click on the next video thank you